In the Meandering Stream Lab, we're going to look at a, a model of a stream very similar to the ones that we find here in Kentucky. Most rivers that wind through Kentucky are meandering streams with distinct bends and curves in the river. Each bend or curve is called a meander. So you see our stream model here has one and two meanders emptying out into the reservoir at the bottom, like a lake or an ocean. Now, meandering streams are called meandering streams because meander means to wander or move. In this model, I want you to pay close attention to how the stream channel changes over time. Right now, we've simulated some uh, houses built on the banks of the river, little monopoly houses. Watch as the water flows around the stream and see what happens to those houses. Places where sand is falling into the river is erosion, picking up and carrying those sand grains downstream. You can see we've already lost several houses. The places which have the most erosion are on the outside of each meander. We call that feature the cut bank. Where the water slows down on the inside of the meander, deposition occurs, as well as at the end, and we call those places the point bar. So we have cut banks on the outside where water is cutting away the stream, and point bars on the inside of each meander. At the end of the river forms a delta, where the water slows down, it drops its sediment. It can't carry it anymore, so it is deposited at the end of a river. Often rivers will cut meanders completely off, forming a cutoff, which then leaves part of the river behind. We call it an oxbow lake. If you look at a map of Frankfurt, you'll see some old oxbow lakes and cut off meanders in that area. Here's another model of a stream, a meandering one again. This time I'm going to add food coloring to the water so that you can see the direction of fastest flow. Now fastest flow usually goes along the outside of each meander. And that's also where the most erosion occurs. So watch closely. Once the water starts flowing, while I add food coloring to the stream. You see it bounces along the outside of the river channel. So the outside of each bend, the cut bank, is where the most erosion occurs because the water there is flowing the fastest. You can see we've developed a cutoff here where the water has cut off the old channel and flown in a more straight fashion. <laughs> 